Today marks one week since destructive storms swept through Iowa, and many people are still dealing with the aftermath. A tornado with winds up to 120 miles per hour swept through portions of rural Johnson County, then continued into Coralville. And KCRG TV 9's Victoria Wong spoke to one farmer who's still picking up the pieces after that EF2 tornado. We've got this damage. Here's where the crib pushed into my horse trailer. Pushed the horse trailer into the barn. Harold Nujol says he's heartbroken after a tornado hit his farm. Most of these barns were built by his dad and grandpa. Harold recalled the moments before he headed for shelter with his dog. It seemed like we were no more down the basement and it was over. I could hear the hear that it was over so we came back up. Harold is not only a farmer but he's an Army Reserve veteran and served for 27 years. Learned a lot, got to go a number of places. Now this farm has been in this family for generations and Harold tells me that he actually bought this from his grandmother in 1995. This is a cement block building that my grandfather built uh, back in the early 50s. I use it as a, a shop. Although Harold stays humble and doesn't ask for help often, he's gotten a lot of help cleaning up debris, but work still needs to be done. Careful your step. Harold's friends, neighbors, and family have helped clean up the debris left from the storm. That includes his daughter, Sarah. Even though no one was hurt there, Sarah worries about her dad after the storm. He lives out there alone, so I, I get a little more concerned for his safety, but he... He's kind of the type of person that just does what he wants. You can't stop him. Bring it here. This weekend brings more cleanup with the reminder that although Harold lost so much, he's not recovering alone. Yeah, that's my boy. In Johnson County, Victoria Wong, KCRG TV9 News.